Break new session in Pro Tools and make sure that your project settings are set to 48 kHz, 24-bit. Pro Tools does not directly support AC3 or EC3 files, so the Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus encoded content will need to live within a padded WAV file. If the file you need to decode has an EC3 extension, please refer to the user manual for more information. Import a Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus encoded WAV file into your Pro Tools timeline. Create a blank audio track that corresponds to the program configuration of your encoded source file. Use a multi-channel bus to map the output of the encoded track to the input of the blank audio track. Insert SIR code for Dolby Digital Plus Decoder. Go Multi-Channel Plugin, Other, SIR code for Dolby Digital Plus Decoder, and select the plugin version that corresponds to the audio track type you created in the previous step. Record and enable the blank audio track and begin recording to decode to PCM. For faster than real-time operation, make a selection over the EC3 encoded region and blank audio track in your timeline. Make sure that the selection is identical to the duration of the source file. If you enable Command Focus in your edit window, you can select the encoded region with the grabber tool and type Shift plus semicolon to make an identical selection on the track below. Shift plus P can be used to make a selection on the track above. Go Audio Suite, Other, Sir Code for Dolby Digital Plus Decoder. Click Render located in the bottom right corner of the Circo for Dolby Digital Plus Decoder user interface. PCM audio data will be decoded directly to the blank audio track in the timeline. <laughs> 